So recently we've seen the release of many new gacha games, including Xenosone Zero, which literally came out on the day that I'm recording, and also Wuthering Ways, which came out just over a month ago. Not to mention all the other gacha games which have been announced and, and had trailers, and people are really looking forward to those ones too, including Project Mugen, and also Azia Promilia. But there has been a big theme, especially whenever it comes to gacha content creation, which I just wanted to talk about today in this video. We're pretty much going to be answering the question, is the gacha gaming community getting too toxic? Now before I begin this video, if you enjoy it, then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and also go over to gamer subs and use my code kaza where you can get 10 percent off cubs tubs and even more they've got a ton of nice stuff so i definitely recommend going down to the link below and yeah getting yourself 10 percent off but let's get back into the video so over the past month or so i've been making a lot of content on wuthering waves as you've seen i've got tons of videos out talking about many things to do with wuthering waves whether that's news or just stuff in the game that i found interesting and a few of my more recent videos have also been about xana zone zero too because it's a very very popular game I mean, it's another gacha game made by Hoyaverse. I know Hoyaverse games quite well. I've played Genshin Impact, Honkai Star Rail. I've played a little bit of Honkai Impact 3rd too. And pretty much my overall plan with the channel is to cover pretty much all of the gacha games, see what's popular, see what's going on. Because obviously there could be dry patches in one game, so I could just move over to Zenosone Zero, do a couple of videos on that. See if it goes into a little bit of a dry patch, then I go over to Wuthering Waves, do a few videos on that, or just mix and match depending on what's going on. And overall, I just think it'll be good for me and also a lot of other content creators that are planning to do that. Because there is a massive issue that is going on, especially between Zelda Zone Zero and Wuthering Waves, and we could see it get even worse with new games coming out. And what I mean by this is the community having very negative feedback to a particular game, whether that's Zelda Zone Zero or Wuthering Waves, and it almost feels like you can't win as a content creator. Now, obviously, this isn't the entire community. This is like, you know, a few people or a small group of people in the community that, you know, either dislike Zelda Zone Zero or dislike Wuthering Waves, but I do get a lot of comments on my videos, and a lot of other content creators have said that they also get a lot of comments and also other stuff being fed back to them saying why are you playing Xenosone Zero you should be playing Wuthering Waves or why are you playing Wuthering Waves you should be playing Xenosone Zero and obviously it can get very confusing as a content creator because you're being told oh not to play this game or not to play that game or to play this game or to play this other game it kind of gets confusing at what your audience actually wants now thankfully I don't really care about you know what people think I cover games on and if I'm a Hoyo show or whatever because that is also another thing that the comments have been pointing out they've been saying oh you're you're a Hoyo show or you're a Kuro show or whatever they're saying that we're shilling each of the games if we cover more content on one of them, which obviously isn't the case. We're just covering the content that is popular at the time and also just whatever interests us at the time. Now, one big example of this was the Steel tweet, which I actually made a full video on. So if you want to go watch that and find out, you know, even more about what happened, then if you go back on my channel, I'm sure you'll be able to find it. And pretty much Steelk had an email which had death threats in it from some guy because he played Zenla Zone Zero. It says, you stupid clown, why did you cover Mahoyo's game instead of sticking to Wuwa? I won't repeat that last bit at the end of the uh, email. Again, it's just kind of messed up and like no one should be doing this over a gacha game because that's all it is at the end of the day. It's a gacha game. It really doesn't matter whether I play Zenla Zone Zero or Wuthering Waves. If you don't like me playing Zenla Zone Zero or you don't like me playing Wuthering Waves, then maybe just stop watching or stop watching the videos that cover that game instead of going into my comments and typing why are you playing this game because i'm still going to play it i don't care i don't care what you think i don't care whether you think zelda zone zero is a bad game or wuthering waves is a bad game i'm going to play what's enjoyable to me and also what's just popular at the time but obviously for some other content creators it can get very confusing they're not very used to this kind of hate i mean even some of the most like neutral content creators who just play what they enjoy and do like maybe some reaction stuff don't even cover any kind of drama are catching this kind of hate because they're playing a game. It literally doesn't make any sense at all. And I hope that they can kind of learn that they can play whatever game they want and cover whatever content they want, despite the comments that are, you know, appearing in their comment section. And obviously, that is a big factor. Whenever it comes to gadget game toxicity, that is the cesspit that is r slash gadget gaming. Obviously, this is a horrible place and this has kind of fueled a lot of the anger towards Zenosone Zero or even Wuthering Waves. I'm pretty sure r slash gadget gaming, they are more positive towards Zenosone Zero because it's a Hoyaverse game and that they're very negative towards Wuthering Waves, which obviously doesn't help with a lot of the people coming over and commenting because I'm sure a lot of these people that are interacting with our posts are the ones that are interacting in our slash gacha gaming. Now, do I have any proof of that? Obviously not. But it is quite easy to get influenced by these people, even if they're just having a quick read of it. And it's just getting to the point where it's kind of annoying now, because no matter what video you upload, it's going to catch hate either way. Whether you upload a Zenosone Zero one, you're going to have people hating on Wuthering Waves. 
if you upload a Wuthering Waves one, you can have people voting on Zealous on Zero. And overall, it's just getting a little bit toxic. And we have seen this in the past with Genshin Impact. Obviously, the Genshin Impact community has been known for being very, very toxic. And it seems like they are coming over to the other gacha games, including Zealous on Zero and Wuthering Waves. You've seen it a bit. I mean, even Stuyorg said he reckons that this person that sent him the email had actually come over from Genshin Impact and started playing Wuthering Waves and now become like a devout fan of Wuthering Waves. So it's kind of funny to see them switch sides and be a little bit hypocritical because they've been defending games like Genshin for all these years and then as soon as they think it's kind of fallen off then they go over to another game and start defending it and hating on the one that they were defending in the past it's a little bit weird and obviously it just needs to stop overall now how can it stop obviously you know we can't do anything about it the best thing you can do as a content creator is to just block out the comments you hide people from the channel or just not look at the comments at all because obviously a lot of these people are just like brain dead idiots who don't really know what they're talking about and just want to hate on a game just because they got nothing better to do with their life but as a community i would just say if you're one of these people that is leaving a lot of these comments hating on another game especially whenever the video isn't even about the game that you're talking about then i would just say to stop because it does get very annoying and it may not seem like it whenever you're just commenting because you know sometimes it can feel like you're commenting into some big void that no one's going to see well a lot of us do see these comments and a lot of us do take it into account of what kind of content you're liking to see but obviously you can get confused between like people actually generally not liking the content and people blindly hating on a game and obviously for me i enjoy weathering waves and zelda zone zero so i'm going to keep making content on both of them because again they're just both enjoyable games and i really like them and i'll also continue to make content on other hoyoverse games like honkai star and maybe a little bit of genshin impact It'll mainly be news about Genshin Impact and uh, Honkai Star because, again, the gameplay has gotten a little bit boring, but obviously a lot of people are still enjoying those games as well. But yeah, that just leaves the question that we asked at the beginning of the video. Is the Gacha game community getting too toxic? Well, yes, it is. It is getting a little bit too toxic at this point with the growth of r slash Gacha Gaming and also the hateful comments that we've been seeing in the comment section. And obviously this will go down whenever the games have been out for longer because Wuthering Waves and Zelda Zone Zero have, haven't been out for that long. As I said, Zelda Zone Zero has only been out for like less than 24 hours hours for me so once the games start to finally like solidify their place in the gacha gaming community then i'm sure the overall toxicity from each of the communities will die down but for now we've just got to try and keep this to a minimum because you know as i said there's a lot of content creators that do get very affected by this i mean i'm not saying it's me but there are many other people who don't want this kind of interaction and don't want this kind of hate that have been catching it just because they're playing a game so again if you're typing these comments then definitely have a think about what you're doing with your life and you know maybe stop commenting that kind of stuff and yeah that's about all i wanted to talk about but yeah let me know down in the comments if you think this is a problem or have you not really seen any of this in the comment section because i know from my videos i have seen a lot of this kind of stuff so whenever i see other people complaining about it you know i can kind of understand where they're coming from and i know they're not just like kind of making this up but yeah if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and as i said go over to gamer subs and use my code kaza which will be down in the link below and yeah that's about all i got for this video that's all see ya